I'm Lady Asuka and today I want to show you how to import and export hair presets into the new version 1.0. I'm really excited about this because it's awesome news for everyone. And there will be a little bonus section in the end about combining hair. So stay tuned! As you may know from my first video about the new Vroid Studio version 1.0, Hair works different now than it did in the beta version. For everyone that is new to V-Ride Studio and bought a hair preset from Booth for example, you may have noticed that there doesn't seem to be a way to upload these now if you got a hair preset folder. The workaround for that is that you need an avatar that wears the hair and import this avatar into 1.0. And since most hair was still created with the beta version, you need to download the beta version on Pixiv's website first to work with it. I put the link as always down in the description. You install the beta version and as most tutorials will tell you, you copy your hair preset that you got into the following folder. C, user, your name or user, app data, local low, Pixiv, Vroid Studio, hair presets. Make sure that the folder you are copying is called preset plus a number and that there are only two other things within the folder. A folder called materials and a preset.json. If that is the case, you did everything right. To showcase it a bit better, I renamed my preset so we will find it easier after. To do that, you just drag and drop the preset.json into a notepad and search for the word preset. Change that to whatever name you want and save. Then you start up Vroid Studio 0.14. Create a new avatar there and import the preset that should now appear under Hair Presets. Save your avatar, you don't have to export it. Close the beta version and open up Vroid 1.0. Now you see your new avatar in the bottom part of the start page, ready to be converted. Follow the instructions on screen and save the avatar in a dedicated folder. Conversion starts and you can now select the avatar as usual and load it into the program. To save your hair now to the library, you go to Hairstyle and it will appear under the Overall Hair in the Custom tab. The program will advise you that you have an unsaved item and will ask you if you want to save it. Follow the instructions on screen and voila! You can now use the hair for all your new avatars. But how does it work now if you made a hair preset or a piece of clothing and want to make it available on Booth for example or share it with a friend? And how would it work if someone sent you already such a dataset? The good news is it is possible now to import and export these directly and you will probably even be able to update all your old presets if you still got them for the beta version to make them available as a rewrite 1.0 item in your store. This will require a bit of work though, just as a heads up, and may not be possible for all items. Here is what you have to look out for. You may have noticed that each time you create a custom item, the program saves this item under C, User, your name or user, App Data, Local Low, Pixiv, Vroid Studio, Custom Items. In this folder, you will find new folders that are only created if you already made a custom item in this section. All your imported hair from the beta version, for example, will be in a folder called N00 All Hair. If you created horns with me from my last tutorial, you will also likely have a folder called N00 Hair Front. The same goes for clothes, lips, irises, shoes, you name it. Whenever you create a custom item, it will show up here under their respective folder. As you may see, these are always created with the date and timestamp and have the extension .vroidcustomitem. So if you want to be smart from the beginning and make it easier for future clients and yourself, rename those into something you will remember more than the date and hour of creation. At this point, I want to do a little shout out to Traveller HD and the whole Vroid subreddit. You guys are awesome! They provided me with files to test with so we could be sure if you sent these to someone that it would actually show up in their Vroid Studio too. I got these braids for example 
and we'll place them into the N00 All Hair folder. Remember to always tell people in which category the item was created or it won't show up in their Vroid Studio after. It has to be the right folder. It will be especially important if you created an elaborate hairstyle using front, sides and an extension for example and save each in their respective category. To send this over to someone, they would have to import each custom item separately into the right folders so these would show up after. For example, I created these dummy horns on another PC in the category front. I would have to copy them here into N00 hair front and don't forget to always close and restart your program so they can be recognized. As a little extra info, I can tell you to be careful to send these over Discord and it may happen with other file sharing services too. When I tried it at first, the name plus dot rewrite custom item was too long and without me noticing it got cut off in the end, so it became rewrite custom IT. You can fix this manually, completing the extension to dot rewrite custom item and after that it will work as usual. I also tested it with an already boned hair preset and I'm pretty amazed that if this was saved in just this little file. And it doesn't work with hair only. I created a little top on the other PC and moved all the files over to N00 tops. You may also notice that whenever you create a custom item that the program sometimes creates a blank together. You can actually ignore the blank and just send the item. It will work regardless. If you can figure out which is which of course. Time to get all our booster items updated I guess, so everyone can enjoy the items in the new version too. And now the promised bonus section. I wanted to talk a bit about combining hair, as the question comes up quite frequently. To make a long story short, combining hair presets won't always work. And that's because all hair that gets saved under overall hair will automatically override every other category. Let's say you created horns in the front category and wanted to combine them with an old beta preset of yours. I even bought a pair of old beta horns and imported them into your library. The moment you select an overall hairstyle, even if it's just a pair of horns or any other type of hairstyle, it will automatically override everything as you see here. The same happens vice versa. But if you actually created everything in the new version and used two different categories for it, besides the overall hair category, then we can actually combine things now. That's why it's smart to create certain parts now under the respective categories from the start, so you can reuse them later and combine them with other assets. Let me show you an example. I will create a single hairstyle under the extra category and once I'm finished, I will add one of the horns to it that we made in the last tutorial. That is how easy combining hair can be now if you plan ahead. On top of that, I could still add a ponytail and some side hair from the other categories. But as we learned, each of these custom items will now be in their respective N00 folders under custom items. And if you wanted to send them to someone, you would have to get each of these and send them over. But that's how easy it is now. If you want more tutorials like this, leave a comment in the comment section below about something that you would love to see in future videos and I will maybe make it a topic of the next video. See you guys in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day.